I'm Scott Allen Miller. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we're going to be going for another barrio walk. Not where I'm standing at the moment, but on 17th Street in southern Sutiava. We've been doing quite a bit of exploring the barrio of Sutiava because it's an amazing barrio that's really large, very vibrant, vibrant, has just so much to offer. And you guys love doing the barrio walks and I love getting to get out and get some exercise and fresh air and do them as well. And I think they make some really interesting content. So today we're going to be exploring 17th Street south of Ruben Dar Rio in the barrio of Sutiava. Western Leon, Nicaragua. We're gonna get to that right after the bump. Before we set off on our walk, I just want to point out this is a single street we're gonna be exploring. This is 17th in Western Sutiava. So let's take a moment bring up a map so you can see where we are. We're gonna start at the southern extent of 17 and walk all the way north up to Ruben Dario. This is on the western edge of the barrio. So you have kind of a transition zone between a more reparto feeling uh, kind of uh, behavior to the west of this street and you have the airport to the west of it. The airport really breaks up the barrio and creates a different style of living when you get to the airport. And to the east of 17th, you have the very traditional barrio lifestyle here in Sutiava. So this is an important street as it's kind of a transition zone. It gives you a lot of barrio feeling, but a little bit more country feel or that broken up airport zone. And it's hard to describe, but when you actually walk from like 16th to 18th, you really notice quickly that you're getting a different different style of living. And of course, 18th and 19th are the main roads of San Mateo, which is a comunidad inside the Barrio Sutiava, which makes for a very different lifestyle there, even than just two streets to the east. And all of these, 17, 18, and 19, happen just south of the Colegio Calesans, which is a very important high school here, private high school here in Leon. And it's so large and prominent that it really creates its own zone around itself. And it touches the Universidad La Salle to the northwest. And so the two together create a Sutiava education zone that is really uh, uh, important for creating its own cultural zone. Um, and then there's another private high school, a couple of private high schools just to the west of that, that kind of feed off of that whole culture. So Sutiava has this little educational zone um, that actually is a quite large region. Um, and so it makes for uh, different housing, different lifestyles, different transit in that zone, then you're gonna find another area. So without further ado, Let's get right on to the southern extent of 17, right on the southeast edge of the Sutiava Airport here in Leon, Nicaragua. All right, this is 17th on a very warm day. A lot of people out. And we're gonna start from the very southern tip of 17th and head all the way north up to Calisans. So this is technically south, 17th Southwest, or SO. Oh, I never noticed, this is a church here. And a cute doggy here who's limping. He's doing okay. On the left here is the airport. This is the eastern edge of the airport. This bit is relatively quiet. South of the airport and north of the airport are a little bit different here. You'll notice it is prohibited to dump trash here. Law 217. Uh, yep, yep, good thing you can't dump any trash here. It also says you cannot dump animals here. I don't know what that's about, but don't be putting your animals here. I have no idea what this big building is. I probably do know and just don't remember. I'm gonna head to the other side of the street. We'll take a look. So it's, it's just some houses with a really high wall, which is kind of cool. Like, I'm not gonna go down this street. I'm just getting a little bit of a look. But these houses on the high ground here next to the airport are kind of neat. 
And you can see as we look east, this is the busy part of Sutiava there and the gorgeous colors of the Bougainvilleas. But you get some nice houses, especially on these high ground spots, you have a tendency to get some really neat houses. They're desirable because they get more air and they're, they're safer, you know, you're up away from the road, so you get some more security and stuff. Now they sell sour cream and uh, <laughs> they say honey of the bee. Not exactly sure what other kind of honey there is, but so that's the airport there. Some nice house on the corner, older house there, and we're gonna head north and show you 17th, which I think is a really cool community. A little bit different than most of Sutiava. Pretty interesting. And I like a lot of places along here do a lot of heavy like hedgerow kind of stuff along the road. So you get this really attractive feel as you come up, even though there's a lot of dense housing. Hola. This is a decently, decently populated area with a nice paved road, but with so many trees and this hedging, it's very pleasant. On the left here is a, it, well, so the first thing is a pulperia and it's got its own ferreteria as well. So the first thing right here, it's drinks and snacks. And uh, the second thing here is a hardware store. So clearly owned by one place. And they've got a pretty attractive little setup here. So both of those stores are very cute. They did a nice job with that. And then they have this beautiful green wall and nice garage and house and multi-story. This is a nice spot right here. I really like this green wall. That is an excellent job that they did there. And then on the other side, we have like this little tiny farm or whatever. And another one here, very small house but with a big yard area. Here we'll show you the house connected with the pulperia. It's a really nice spot. You could kind of see a pass through to a big open courtyard in the back. Very decent house here on the left. And on the right, we got a pulperia on the corner, some cute houses, a veterinary's office. I think you can see it directly in front of us there. A little place where you can do recargas. Something down there, a lot of people sitting out in front. It's hard to tell from here what it is. That might be a bar. One of the bigger bars, probably the biggest bar actually in Sutiaba, is on this street. We'll pass it in a little bit. Hola. Hola, buen dia. Here's a really nice house. This whole little section right here. Actually, a lot of this street gets really nice. I'm gonna show on the on the other side. Look at this place that was on the corner. It's a little bit nondescript, but look how big and nice it is along the side. And then this house here. Buenas. You can tell these places are really cool. Big fancy stairs. And then line there. You can see that one is double story in the back. All the interesting stuff is always hidden. You gotta really look. And in many cases, use your imagination. Got a couple of interesting ones here on the left. Feels like this is two separate houses that they've, or one one original that's been constructed into two with a garage in the middle. But maybe it's all one house, it's hard to say. But you can tell there's a lot of modernization going on. And that's, that's the kind of stuff that can work really well in an area like 17th that you've got a lot of families, it's very quiet, but it's a really good opportunity street where if you found a spot that was really old and cheap or a place that's empty, a lot that's empty, Putting in a pretty modern place would be absolutely an option and you could have a really nice new or updated place in the middle of a really quiet, really off the path area of the barrio 
but it's a great area with a lot of potential to, for, for life. Now, this is a great old Victoria sign. I'm actually gonna pause the video here, give it a moment for the camera to cool down, and I'm gonna take some photographs of this because I want this uh, in my photo feed. Okay, that was just a momentary break. Getting honked at here. There is a surprising amount of traffic. We've got a cross street here. This is the street, I believe, at the southern end of San Mateo. So this is where 17th, if I'm correct, in where I am, switches from being in the open barrio to being in the Comunidad of San Mateo, which is a upscale community inside of Sutiava, connected with the Colegio. This is a really cute property on the right with the blue house behind the, it's an older wall that's really been well-maintained, really cool. going to switch over to the right so we can see the houses on the left a bit more. Lots of little pulperias along here. Everybody's selling something a little bit different. But so many people out for walks, which is exactly what you want in a community. It means that people find it safe, good for families. It keeps traffic down because people are on foot. Every person who's on foot is someone who's not in a car. Helps keep it quiet and it makes people get to know each other when you're in cars you get you get detached and you tend to use facilities far away well i'm in a car i'll just drive to the next block the next block the next block pretty soon you're going downtown to go to a restaurant instead of walking around the corner to your neighbor's barbecue and it makes for a very different community Now on the right here, obviously we have an intersection, but immediately after that intersection, we've got this high roof with the orange frontage. That is Bar Houston. It is a sports bar, and I believe the largest bar in Sutiava. We've got this side street here. And some nice houses on the left. Especially this two-story, hopefully you can see it. Now Houston's is closed at the moment. The door is kind of open. Let's see if I can get a look. But you can see there's a second story up there. We'll just kind of walk by. It's very dark, so I don't know. There's a cat in there. Oh, there's some people. It's surprisingly not super well known. I'm always amazed by how often I mention it and people are like, what place? Now this White House on the left is fantastic. What a great job they've done with this place. This is a uh, little shop that sells like food for animals. Now here is a place that is for sale. I'll just show it. I'll show where you are. So Houston's is just across from that white house right there, that beautiful white house. And we've got those two little places set farther back. And then this house for sale, definitely not big, but it has a garage. It's got a great location. And uh, if you're looking for something in this kind of area, that could be something for somebody, for sure. And this is what the other side of the street looks like, nice trees. It's not a bad area at all. All right, I've got another pulperia over here, very small one. Let's take a moment. This is a gorgeous house here, green and white. And quite a few decent houses right along here.
and the sidewalk gets a little bit funky. Here it's enormous and nice, but then it ends. <laughs> And this is the very north of 17th Southwest. Now for most people, this is where the road ends because if you go north here, it's 17 Northwest and it's a completely different community. Things don't tend to cross this road. This is Ruben Dario. So we've already made it the length of 17 Southwest at least. In front of us is the Colegio Calasanz. And this is the big boulevard. So this is the really famous high-end private high school here in the area that we show quite often. And that, I was correct, that was San Mateo we were coming through. And this is the Marcadito district of Sutiava. So you get a completely different vibe here, completely different little community, even though it's connected right there. You've got the ice cream place there on the corner, next to the high school, of course. People go over there, must be all the time. You have a pharmacy right there, which I actually didn't know was there, which is funny. And a lot of nice houses along here. And uh, then just up the street, you can see some of the traffic up the street, maybe one block up is, uh, oh, there's one of the buses heading out to the, to the far reaches of the barrio. And uh, this is, we're looking right now, we're looking west towards the beach. And you can see there's a lot of traffic in this part of the city still. It's still a very busy area. Uh, but just up there is the Mercadito, which is the last of the markets of Leon. And so if you're looking for like a full scale market where you do all your shopping in a traditional Central American market, you can still do that right here in Sutiava. You can do it all through Leon, but this is as far west as you can get. And you can tell the traffic really picks up over here. This, this whole Marcadito zone is just a terrible mess for traffic all of the time. People on foot, this is where people are constantly stepping out into directly in front of your cars. This particular intersection of 17th and Ruben Dario is always really bad, which is a terrible place to have terrible traffic at a high school. And this is the main where they open that gate right there in the afternoons and all the high school students pour out into this intersection on foot. It is absolutely madness. And where that taxi is now, the buses pull up and pick people up from the other side, because of course they're taking 95% of the students into the city, not away from the city. So it's kind of a, kind of a mess. And you can see the city buses their their uh, terminal is west of here just a little bit so a lot of people wait there to jump on these buses as well so that is our walk for today thanks for coming along and joining me i hope you enjoyed seeing 17th street and the uh san mateo area of the city hola as always <laughs> adio <laughs> and uh as always like and subscribe if you can uh, consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller that helps make the show possible helps keep me caffeinated so I can get out and do these long walks get this exercise this is great this is a really good day of walking around it's a beautiful day really hot so I've been I've been sweating on several of these episodes recently as we're still in the hot season I'm getting out and getting this exercise which I really need so that stuff's good and uh yeah, share on social media. Tell your friends about the show. Watch an extra show at the end. When it gets to the end, find another one that you'd be interested in from the channel. That stuff really, really helps. I really appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. I will see all of you tomorrow. And like I said, an extra episode. We're popping four of them up on the screen right here. So you can just pick one and watch one of those. You don't even have to search for anything. Just pick one that's on the screen. That's the easiest way to go. See you all tomorrow.